can you go a couple things um one can you go through what was the pregame plan for pitching did you think about hitting for scherzer in the in the third there and what did you think you could get out of Strauss? oh uh, yeah we, we i don't know if this is working out but yeah we um we thought about it but you know the thing is to try to get Strauss through the later innings as well i mean that was uh and sure settled down after the first two innings i mean he was dynamite so um we wrote him as long as we can and we you know we knew we had to pitch it for him uh and what can I say about Strauss? I mean, he comes in out of the bullpen and, and, and shuts him down, gives us a chance to get back in the game. And, you know, you guys seen the rest. I mean, the eighth inning, we score some runs. Hardy comes in and, and closes the ninth. Davey, it starts with the hit at-bat by, uh, by Taylor, and then the at-bats then continually, you know, kind of pass the baton type of thing. And Juan comes up with a big, big hit for you and... What would you expect out of a 20-year-old, right? Yeah, how about that? Um, but, you know, he's done it all year for us. Um, you know, that's why, he's, that's why he's a cleanup hitter. You know, uh, he, he, gets, he makes good at-bats, and he comes through when, when we need him to come through. He's just been, uh, he's been unbelievable all year for us. Front row right, Mark. What did you think of the quality of at-bats throughout the game up to that point, and was that just really effective pitching by them, or did you feel like your guys were letting the moment get to be a little too big for them at times? Yeah, you don't know. I mean, uh, you know, hey, look, uh, Pomeranz, was really, really good. I mean, he was. Um, we hit some balls hard. You know, I thought Suzuki's ball had a chance to get out. Uh, and then uh, Trey just missed a couple balls. Um, but, you know, we, you know as, I, as I said, and as I said all year, um, these guys never quit. And the bats got better. I put the ball in play. I was trying to save Zim um, to hit with somebody on base. And, you know, and, and Taylor, I knew Taylor had a, a good at bat against Hader once. Um, so, you know, I thought, you know, it's a perfect opportunity to use him. If he gets on somehow, you know, we got Trey and I, I could pinch hit for uh, Eaton if, with um, Zim. Uh, that's the way it worked out. I'm going to go back to the right. Uh, all the way to the right. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You can go ahead. David, this, this was like a lot of your wins this year. Your starter doesn't get a lot of support early. It's getting late in the game, and then all of a sudden things happen. Can you talk about how the season has gone with so many wins like that. Yeah, it's been going like that all year. Um, but like I said, you know, they, they, uh, they play to the last out, you know. Uh, every day, they don't quit until the, the 27th out is recorded. Um, and honestly, for me, yeah, I kind of got used to it. And, uh, you know, we're sitting there, and nobody ever thought we were, were, were ever done until the last out was. And really, I mean, the dugout was fired up. The guys were fired up. Um, Michael gets hit, and uh, I, I bet simultaneously, ten guys screamed, "Here we go!" and uh, and that's all it took. Back row, right. So, um, can we figure out that Corbin will start game one, <laughs> or are we there yet? How are you going to uh, handle? I will, I will tell you right now. Yeah, Patrick Corbin will start game one. I'm gonna go back to Mark in the front row. You mentioned the Taylor hit by pitch. Obviously, there was a tense couple of minutes there as they're reviewing it. What, if anything, did you see or have you seen since uh, that convinced you that the ball did hit? Yeah, we, we did. And he had a scuff on his he had a scuff on his batting glove. Um, so it did. I mean, it hit him. It hit, hit his hand and hit the bat. Uh, but it hit him first. I'm going to go to the left here. Uh, the Nats had some tough times in the playoffs. They finally advanced. I know you weren't here for a lot of those. What can you say to the guys that have been here through those? And what, how can they use that to move forward? I just, you know, this was a, this was a big win for those guys in that in that club I celebrating right now for this organization. We get to move on and go to LA, um, but it's a testament to those guys in that clubhouse. I mean, they played hard all year long. Um, we start off horrible, as we all know, and they we we vowed that we wouldn't quit. You know, that was that I told the boys. I promise you, stay with it. Don't quit. This will turn around, and it did. And here we are today. Anything else? All right, we'll do one last one with Mark on the right. You guys had uh, gotten Tater before here uh, in the summer. When he comes in, does that ever come into anyone's mind? Like, hey, we've gotten to this guy before and maybe a little bit extra confidence in that moment? You know, the, big, the biggest thing is to get him to throw, you know, we, we, we told the guys to be aggressive but in the strike zone. You know, make him throw strikes. I mean, uh, obviously that's key for anything, but when, you throw, you know, when he's throwing 97, 98, um, you got to get him in the strike zone. Uh, I think I thought we did a pretty good job at, at that today.